Hey there folks, John here with Through My Lens, and today I am doing a knife collection video. Um, one of my subscribers to the Through My Lens YouTube channel here recently asked me to do a collection video. Uh, hadn't really occurred to me to do that, but uh, hey, what the heck. Uh, so here we have, this is not my entire knife collection, uh, but this is uh, my collection of zero tolerance knives that I have right now. Uh, I really don't consider myself a collector per se, uh, because uh, that to me brings to mind someone who uh, uh, probably keeps their knives uh, in a safe or in a drawer and doesn't use them, and, and for the most part I do use my knives. There's a couple in here that I try to avoid actually uh, uh, doing any cutting with or anything that would uh, uh, mar up the blade or, or the, the knife, but uh, they all certainly are carried. Us uh, and uh, again, not my entire knife collection per se. This is really just my ZT knife collection. Uh, I've got a handful of other knives from Spider Co. and Benchmade and stuff that really aren't part of my regular rotation. These are the knives that I actually, you know, rotate and use and, and really care a lot about. Uh, so, with no further ado, we'll we'll start here at this end. They're kind of in a uh, chronological order, at least chronological for me, of how long I've had them. Uh, and this is the classic Zero Tolerance 0550. Uh, it's wearing one of the very rare uh, blue-black hinderer style uh, G10 uh, scales on it. Uh, and you'll also see that I've got some uh, aftermarket anodized parts on it. It's one of the later generations. You can tell by the, uh, the uh, pocket clip here. Um, had it a long time. It is used. If you look closely at the uh, stone wash on it, you'll see some scratches on it. Uh, I do use it for a variety of different tasks, um, and you know, really do like this knife. Um, was my first zero tolerance knife, so it's uh, it's one that stayed in the collection the longest. And then next to it is another hinderer design, uh, the classic zero five six two had this knife uh, around. This is probably my favorite zero tolerance knife, uh, the one that gets carried the most, although this uh, particular knife uh, is the version that I do uh, kind of keep in the safe as it were, keep it keep it in a drawer uh, in a case. I don't use this particular one. I've got another version of it that's all scratched up and, and marred, but uh, this is one of the first, first examples that was released. Um, it's got a serial number of 70. Um, 0070 and this is an M390 version and again I got it when these first came out uh, saw it at uh, Blade Show when it was first released and you know again my favorite zero tolerance knife probably the best flipper that I own uh, just best all-around knife that I own if I had to sell all my knives I would definitely keep that one because it's the all-around best knife uh, to use and to carry and, these next two knives, I haven't actually done videos here on the channel. Uh, and this one, I've actually I've had them for a few months. Uh, I did a review on these for Three Gun Nation magazine. And uh, this is the 0220. Um, haven't carried this one a whole bunch. Um, this one I probably am going to sell. Uh, the... Uh, uh, the orange backspacer really just isn't to my liking. Great knife, you know... It's it's just a I, I I'm not crazy about that that orange backspacer is really the only thing uh, that uh, for me personally I don't like otherwise you know it's certainly a great knife. Uh, the one next to it I do carry this one quite a bit uh, when I need to uh, when I wear uh, dress clothes at work uh, or when I travel sometimes and I want a smaller knife although you know this has got a you know. I think a 3.25 length blade on it, but this is just so light and easy to carry. Of course, this is the 05, excuse me, 0450 CF. Oh, so many numbers for, for zero tolerance. Um, 0450 CF, and super light, super easy to carry. Great, great flipping action, uh, particularly for a small knife, and I carry this quite a bit when I wear dress clothes, and I just want a very inconspicuous knife. Next to that is another one of my favorite uh, favorite zero tolerance uh, knives. This one came out last year. This is the 
me see if I can remember this, 0456, yes. And uh, I have done a review on Through My Lens on this one. So, uh, and again, this one uh, I don't really cut with. It's just too pretty. The, if, this is probably the, the art knife that I have in my collection. And, uh, you know, I just, I just really, really like it a lot. Uh, you're probably hearing one of my dogs in the background in their, in their crate. Um, so, yeah, really, really like to carry this one. Um, and it's probably the prettiest knife that I own. Um, really like it a lot. Next to it are the two ZT0095. These ones I recently reviewed along, uh, also did a recent review on this uh, 0850. Um, these are probably the newest knives in my collection. Uh, this is the uh, the DLC, uh, the 0095 uh, Black, S90 Black, and uh, it's the version that I carry and use a lot. Really like it. I think I do need to send this into ZT because the detent isn't quite where I would like it to be. Uh, of course, the one next to it is the Russian market exclusive ZT0095. And it fires out with authority. The detent is perfect on this one. And you can just see that blade shape so much better uh, with the non-DLC coated version. Uh, another pretty, pretty knife that uh, carry but try not to cut with, given its uh, kind of limited edition status. And finally, uh, uh, this one's really quickly becoming a favorite to carry. This one may be number two behind the 0562. Um, this is, of course, the 0850 uh, with the uh, uh, titanium subframe lock. Um, I just can't go on, you know, about how I love this knife for, for its weight, uh, the quality of the blade steel, all the premium features that uh, have gone into this knife. Really, really like it a lot. Um, and because it is a just a production, normal production version, I can use this and 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 you know have no concerns because I can get replacement parts or just replace the knife if I beat it up too badly. So there you have it. There is my entire zero tolerance collection to date. Like I said, I need to pare this down a little bit. Uh, probably sell this one, uh, the zero two two zero. But other than that, the rest of them, you know, kind of in my daily rotation. Uh, of uh, knives that I do use, uh, carry and use, and, and enjoy. I uh, hope you enjoyed this ZT collection video. Uh, certainly uh, comment in, in the comment section below if you've got a collection video, I'd like to see it. Uh, let me know what you think about this, and keep in mind there will be, uh, or there are written photo reviews uh, on uh, throughmylens.org. Uh, that's my website. Uh, you can find some great photos of uh, just about all these knives. Uh, as well as video reviews of them here on the Through My Lens YouTube channel. Take care. God bless. We'll see you in the next video.